Expectations for the 2019 Yankees are no different than what they are every year in New York. The next title. After winning 100 games despite a myriad of injuries last season, managing general partner Hal Steinbrenner made his intentions clear. His sights are set high for the 2019 campaign. Win a world championship, and I, I absolutely believe we're good enough to do that. But everybody, again, everybody needs that little bit of luck in any sport. You've got to stay relatively healthy. You can't lose key players for one to two months at a time. It makes it difficult. With already one of the game's strongest bullpens, Brian Cashman and his team added reinforcements to the pen and, more importantly, bolstered the rotation via free agency and trades. If you ask me what the main reason was we didn't get it you know, out of the division series, I, I think it would be pitching. So that's something I made clear even as early as November that we needed to improve, and, and we did. We went out and got Paxton. We signed Hap, then we went and got Britton, Adovino. We certainly have a better starting rotation, in my opinion, than we did last opening day, and I think our bullpen's better, too. After setting the mark for most home runs in a single season, there's a lot to be encouraged about. With more health, depth, and experience, Steinbrenner believes this could be a lineup that raises the bar even higher. It can be very good, but again, it's about health, right? And that goes for the entire team. I mean, you know, we, we lost Judge last year for two months. We lost Gary for two months combined. I think Stanton's going to have a really good year. I mean, everybody's got to remember he came from another league. Most of these pictures, he's, he's seeing for the first time. I think all these guys, I mean, they're, they're a great group of guys. They work hard. I think Troy's going to be good for us. DJ, I think, is a very good contact hitter, something at times I think we've lacked. I think it's going to be exciting, and he can play multiple positions as well. Power of the opposite field, which is good for our stadium. So we clearly have the potential to be even better. Management feels comfortable with the current roster, yet questions from fans remain about who is not on the roster. Look, we have Stanton. We just brought on board a year ago. I'm not against long-term deals. Clearly, there's always concerns about the ending years of those long-term deals. But what I try to do every offseason is just figure out where our biggest area of need is. And this year, it was not an infielder or an outfielder. It was pitching. And that's what we immediately addressed. We went after what was available and, and what we liked what we thought would be a good fit here. We leave no stone unturned. I mean, proposals are always coming my way, a variety of them from the baseball ops people, and I'm gonna consider every single thing that they suggest or throw my way. The two longest tenured Yankees, Brett Gardner and CC Sabathia, are back for another season and still a big part of the equation, and their leadership is just as vital as ever. They're both great leaders. They, not only do they lead by example, but they're good leaders. They're respected. They're not afraid to, to call somebody out if they're not doing their job, and they hold that highest standard to themselves. So you can't ask for more as far as clubhouse. They understand the Yankee way, our traditions, the way we insist on doing things, and whether it's a player coming from another club or a player coming up from our minor leagues, it's made clear in a hurry what's expected of them. And these two guys are two of the guys, of numerous guys, that really instill that. Overall, it was a successful year for rookie manager Aaron Boone, and Steinbrenner is confident and comfortable with Boone going into year two. I think he did good, as I've said before, as advertised. I mean, I think the players respect him. He's got an unbelievable knowledge of the game. Everybody's going to make mistakes, especially a first-year manager. Didn't get to where we wanted to be in the postseason, obviously, but 100 games is a, is a good season, and I think we're only going to get better.